presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to display different messages on different screens in Pro Presenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you've ever run into a situation where you needed to send a message to one screen and not another, but a different message to the other one, then go ahead, subscribe, click the little bell icon, and uh, go ahead, give me a thumbs up while you're at it. So this is one of those things that you may not need to do very often, but it's nice to have in your back pocket. In an earlier tutorial, I showed you how to do this with props. Well, the procedure is basically the same, except by uh, changing a couple of little things, you can do this with messages. One thing that I will tell you is if you haven't seen that tutorial, it goes more in depth in some of the setup than this one will. And that's because I need to dive a little bit more in depth into uh, the themes for the messages. So let's head over to my computer and we will take a look. So here we are in uh, Pro 7, and just by way of review, uh, what I did was we went into Screens, Configure Screens, and I created a new screen, which was a quad layout that also included each of my main four output screens. Maybe you don't have four screens, you could do a triple wide, Maybe you could do a uh, double wide, whatever. So that's one thing that you can do is uh, just however many screens you need, make sure that you create a grouped screen and also assign it to each of the screens in the group, whatever ones you want to have here. So I say, could be triple wide, could be double wide could be two by two it could be six you know you've got a lot of options here just make sure you assign these here let's make sure i don't do that make sure that uh, you assign these in an order that makes sense to you now once you've done that and notice that when you do that you should have this message that the particular output is also assigned to another output that's what you want. So having done that, let's go into screens and then edit looks. And we're going to create a new look for messages. So I'm going to click plus here. And let's call this main alpha message. I could call it whatever I want, but I'm going to call it that just because it it makes sense to me. Um, so I want to disable props here on the quad. I want to disable the announcements. Just basically disable everything except for messages here. And on the screens that I want it to show up, I want to disable the messages there. I could also disable it here and here, but I'm going to uh, leave it enabled on the live stream, and I'll show you why here in just a second. This is just in case you needed to have a third instance where the message is on both, both messages around that one screen, so in the same places, by the way. So let's do that. That's good. And now let's uh, make that live. Okay, now we're good to go. So, um, oh, just in my situation, I don't need announcements on anything but the portrait monitor because that's this guy right here. So you'll be able to uh, skip that piece of the puzzle there. Okay, so let me go ahead and I'm just going to select this just to have something on here. And now let's um, go into 
our messages area. Oops, clicked on the wrong button. That's the one I wanted to click on. Okay, now we're in our messages. Well, now we're in our messages. So I'm going to click on a new message, and I'm going to call that main. And then a new new message, another new message, and let's call that um, alpha. So now, if I were to just type in, this is the message for my alpha screen and on main type in main screen message now when I show each of those the problem that I'm gonna have is it's gonna show it kind of not the way that I want it to show and you might already be ahead of me on this. So let's go to the quad and I'll show you what it looks like. See, right now they're both smack dab in the middle of that quad screen. Not helpful at all to me. So what I need to do is I need to format these so that they, the main message goes up here and the quad message goes over here. How could I do that? Well, you might notice down here we have a place for a template one of a subsection of your theme so let's go into uh, our theme editor which is located right here under the ellipsis theme editor and let's create a brand new theme so i'm going to go new theme and let's call this um, main and alpha. Again, you can call it whatever you want, whatever works for you. So, keeping in mind that this is going to be on the quad screen, let's just drag over these guidelines just to make it a little more obvious where things are. So, um, right there and right here one thing I should have done is I should have changed the resolution of this um, to quad but I'm gonna leave that as it is right now just for fun sake so Okay, now let me select this again, and I'm going to drag this up here, and I want to make sure that this message is only in the this quadrant here. Now I'm going to add another one, and doing basically the same thing, I'm going to squish it down so that it fits basically in this quadrant. I could drag... Oops, I could drag these lines over again if I wanted to make it more obvious to myself. I'm just being very general here. So now this is my alpha one and this is my main one. Um, I could even rename individual templates within this theme main and I'm going to rename this one alpha just to make it as obvious as possible because remember my main screen is this quadrant my alpha screen is this quadrant so do it like that okay now let's go back to show and let's clear out both of these messages and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the main one, and now I'm going to select my main and alpha template. And since this message is going to the main, I'm going to 
or my main and alpha theme. And since this is going to the main, I'm going to select my main template within that theme. Same thing down here. Select this. Go to main and alpha. Select alpha this time because it's going to the alpha screen. Now, when I show this on uh, the alpha, I expect that the message is going to be up here in the upper left-hand quadrant. And it is. Now when I select this one and I select show, now it's there. Since I left messages enabled for my live stream, I expect to see both of them on the live stream. And that's where they are. So you're not seeing everything here on the quad preview. I said this in the previous tutorial. And that's because um, of the fact that the... Um, that's because it's only showing this one thing. You could tweak that with some previews or some stage displays, layering things or whatever. But just for the sake of brevity, I'm not going to do any of that. So let me go ahead and I'm going to toggle on my downstream key. Then we should see this full screen. And since that's my alpha, I will see this message that says this is the message for my alpha screen smack dab in the middle. So let's do that. Remember... This isn't, you're not going to see this full screen on your control screen. This is just for illustration purposes for you. So there it is. And notice this message is for my alpha screen. It's kind of hard to read, but there it is. And I'm going to toggle that off. And now that goes away. So that's how you do that. So now, in this situation where you want one message on one screen and another message on another, then uh, you can do that here in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Um, give me your name and number, so not number your name and email address so I can make a login for you and then you can take the class at your leisure. It's already pre-recorded. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.